What's up guys back to another kind of super video and in today's video we are going to have a quick talk about the potential blessing uh, This video is just for me to talk about my opinions on it Why I think it's good the things I don't like about it And I also want to know your guys opinion on it. Do you like the potential blessing? Do you think it's too whale inducive? Do you like it because it you know brings more hype to you know summoning in the game or you know makes it to where dupes aren't just worthless um, let me know in the comments, of course, but I'm going to go over it. And then, of course, I'm going to max out some of my characters because I haven't actually been going super crazy on this. I've kind of just done the few characters like Chris, Aqua, and then kind of left it at that. So I'll do all that, and then I'll do all the summons at the end of the video. But, like I said, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on it. And, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more kind of super content. As always, we upload every single day, most of the time. I don't think I've missed a day in a while, but anyway, potential blessing. So the pros and the cons, the pros are one, my favorite thing. I like tickets cause I like to summon. You get more shards from these tickets and then you can put it back in the potential system. Big at W. If this wasn't here, I think I'd hate the system. Other pro, you do more damage. Very nice. Very cool. We like big numbers. Another bonus to it is, you know, there are many shards so uh what is it called um not this one there's another one it's a different potential i have to go to the collab ones there's you know different type of shards so it's not just dependent on oh i haven't pulled an aqua in like two years or some crazy thing right obviously there's a different shard to be able to get those characters and this one was oh it's otherworldly potential same with collab characters, you can use the universal adventures potential. Very nice stuff. Big W. If that wasn't a thing, I'd be a little bit more stingy on the potential blessing, I'll be honest with you. But it's nice that there is a universal boosted one. Another thing is, I do like how there are multiple upgrade paths. I can get somewhat annoying though, that can be a, a con to this. Because the last. Because this takes. Oh, that takes. Oh, it's all of them. Sorry. Uh. This is 70. Oh no, this is the next one. Sorry. Uh, this is 30, which is nice. Uh, if I were to go to fire, this first one is only 10. So while you could like bum rush it halfway on all of them, it does get rather expensive, but it is nice that you're able to pick and it's not just like, you know, <laughs> you have to do fire, then earth and dark or whatever. And it takes so long to get to like a water upgrade. That would kind of suck. It's cool that you can do it all and that the bonus at the end is all elements i do think that's pretty cool some of the cons though are of course you have to summon to get them for certain characters i don't really have a big amount of the shards unfortunately also for some characters like let's say darkness it's a little bit harder to pick which ones you want because in my mind you know Oh, I want her ult to hit harder, so you want normal blessing. But the best darkness, the one that does the damage, is light. So, you know, it's a little bit more questionable on what you want to pick. I'm going to go with light first. Um, but it is kind of rough for certain characters. Let me know if you want a guide on what characters I suggest you level up elements first. I don't really know how you know, far people are in this. Um, I'm definitely not as far as other people just because I don't spend too much money on this game. Um, so, like I said, let me know if you want a video on that. I'll definitely get around to it. Been a bit busy. Kind of like autopilot mode on Konosuba lately. Oh, this is a hard one. Forbidden Wish isn't coming for a while. So I think I'm safe to do water for Legendary Wiz. Awesome. Um, but yeah, no, it's kind of hard to pick certain characters. Definitely, definitely just rule of thumb. If their fest is coming up soon, which would probably be Chris, Yunyun, Iris, probably should do their corresponding element. It's kind of a rule of thumb for most of them. Pretty simple stuff. But like I said, if you want a video on it, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, it's pretty much just who's your best character for it and you know go from there obviously 
I really don't like Cecily, so I'm just going to go ahead and get ready for her legendary version eventually and just have it all ready. If my best version of Cecily, Cecily was a fire one, I'd just do that instead. If I didn't have, if I wasn't a whale or wasn't going to seek out said, um, like, you know, better Cecily. Are you? Uh, I mean, dark makes the most sense. This is okay. This is another graph I have. Why the heck they they put dark with the neutral element? Man, that sucks so bad for Aru. She just like can't catch a break with that. As it's like at least with the other ones, like fire and light. If there's a darkness that's fire that I'm using, I'm still getting the benefit from that. You know, if she hits the fire attack, she does more damage. Aru. I'm only upgrading dark here. I'm not getting any other bonus, which kind of sucks. I wish it was just, I wish it light and dark. And then I don't even know. There's not enough elements. So I guess they had to just be like, all right, sorry. It's Arugi. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess it's old. It's neutral. So I guess I'll do this. Oh, I actually have pull enough Mitsurugis to actually get that far that's so so upsetting do I want to actually upgrade dust we'll see we'll see we'll see we're going we're going down the list oh dust okay so since legendary dust is the only useful dust I'll just do that oh oof. I would be very upset if I could have done that just because I've pulled that many dusts that you see the tickets are pretty nice when you first do this obviously they're not going to stick around forever which is unfortunate boom pretty Pretty easy pick for Ren, considering her her, her ults. Um, Leah, uh, probably fire, just because of Maid Leah. I don't have Maid Leah, but um, you know, thinking for the future and you know, light Leah as well. See, so, yeah, we'll just do wind. Just I don't, I don't really use her too much, like probably if at all. Uh, so just getting, you know, I'll have her wind version max for that. Erica, 100%. I see I already did fire at some point. Definitely fire. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, I have a lot of Erica shards. That makes me happy. Thank you, Erica. Melissa, definitely doing earth for the funny. I have so many Melissa shards. Holy crap. How many is for the five ticket? One, two, three, four, five. You know, we'll do that. That's the first time I've actually used those, but I mean, it's for a ticket. Might as well, but sm slight tip, be a little careful with those. Don't use all of them up. That would suck. We're going to do dark. I have no Mia shards. Yeah, don't, don't use up all those because when the cloud characters come, I'm not too sure how stingy they're going to be on that. Um, Amy, I, I guess dark. I mean, I don't have the Arabian Amy, but like, I actually don't know what else I do for her. Kameko, okay, definitely done that. Lightning, I've only done one. What was I doing? Um, 60, don't have enough for that. We're just going to do this. I feel like Mel and Veneer are pretty self-explanatory. Like, even if I don't make a guide for them, I feel like it's a little obvious. Do I have enough? I don't. That stinks. But yeah, no, for those characters, I feel like it should be obvious, especially for these three, because, like, their OG cards are their best ones. Why would you do anything else? It really sucks that I can't do any of the collab characters. Um, like, Kazuma. He's the last one. Uh... I guess Snipe is the most used thing I would have, so I'll just do that, because I don't have Legendary Cosmo. But, other than that, thanks for listening to me ramble about which characters I would pick. Um, didn't really have anything a video planned. I was actually really tired and just passed out my chair, so I was like, okay. I haven't made a video briefly going over my thoughts on this now that it's been out. I might as well do that real quick. So that's why we're getting this video. Also, it's taking forever to load into the home screen. Not cool. Um, oh, I see my internet is very, very bad right now for some reason. Uh, hopefully it doesn't 
try to restart. As I am mid video, that would suck. Anytime, Konosuba. Alright, well, I'm gonna cut and just get to the summons then, I guess. Alright, um, that was cool. That was like five minutes of just, I couldn't load anything, but we're back. So, big W. I have 17 tickets. We're getting a four star off rip. I think this is my third ever four star. Oh. I, 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 I genuinely thought that would have been made Leah and I was about to pop off. Okay. I talked about not having the Arabian Amy and they give me this CLO. That's funny. Anyway, for these tickets, obviously I'm hoping for four stars if I, I don't have, but other than that, I veneers a big W just like veneer whizzes characters. I use shard wise. Um, Three stars got a lot more valuable to me. Normally, I don't really care about them just because I'm all max. But now that they give shards, big W, five shards. It's not a whole bunch, but it does add up. I am going to try to speed through this. More Leah, love to see it. Kind of mad at the first level was dark one. Oh, another four star. These have pretty decent rates, aren't? I'm just like since I we have so many, I'm just getting lucky. A Ren. Oh, I don't have her, so that's, I'll take that, I'll take that, that's a W. Any character I don't have, big W. And now you see why I like these three stars. And these three star tickets, and then Leah. Okay, well, I mean, they're ninjas, I guess. You could get lucky on these. Of course, you could get not get lucky, and you just don't get anything, but, you know. Let me know in the comments if you've gotten a four star you've really wanted off these tickets or just a four star in general. I feel like that was my luck. I thought I forgot that Cosmo was dark. Chris, alright, we got four more. Can we get another four star? Amy. She's giving PTSD over that Leah now. Wow, veneer, big W. Also, very, still very upset that the veneer banner didn't give me, like, any veneers. But it's fine. Another Cosmo. Can we end it off with a whiz? I'm gonna let it rock. But anyway, that'll pretty much be it. Like I said, thanks for watching. As always, Melissa. Ironic, because Melissa's out right now. Other than that, let me know your comments on the potential blessing down below. Like I've said before, very curious on what your guys' thoughts are. I th think it's been mostly positive. A lot of people excited to use their tickets. Um, a few people have been upset that it's a little whaley. But like I said, comment. I want to know. I'll catch y'all in the next Kona Super video.